Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today I'm taking you along with me to Ikea so we can check out everything that's new in stores for fall 2022. I'm pretty excited because I did check online and there are so many new seasonal pieces, but there's also a ton of new furniture and different style pieces coming out right now. So I'm really excited to see everything in person and show you guys all my favorite finds. So if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and let's go ahead and head to Ikea. I'm headed up to the showroom to check out all of the new displays. Last time I was here, they seem to be working on a lot of new setups, so I can't wait to see them in person. This little setup at the front here pretty much just highlights what IKEA is good at, which is form and function. They create pieces that really give you functionality. They're affordable, sustainable, and their designs always keep those elements top of mind. This new Enhet wall shelf is something you're gonna see a ton of across the entire store. They come in black and white and they create an open storage solution for bathrooms, laundry rooms, and kitchens. So they're a really flexible design that you can fit between cabinets like this, or you can use the wall shelves on their own. So you can see them styled as base cabinets, as upper cabinets, or even vanity mirrors like this. I think these would be great if you're designing maybe an Airbnb or you like things out on display. It allows you to see everything that you have in a very tidy, stylish way. I think this is such a pretty table lamp that's dimmable. It looks old fashioned, but in a really modern way. It's just $29.99 and I think it looks great styled on these shelves. This little room setup has always been one of my favorites. It just feels so cozy and comfortable and I love the lighter color palette. But this one feature is something I wanna point out because it's a great design idea. This large cabinet is actually two separate cabinets. Pushed together like this, it creates a larger, more grand look. So if you have a larger space, just think about pushing two smaller items together to create that large expansive look. I love walking through the showroom and just getting clever design ideas. Here's another one that has to do with kids storage options. This little shelf system is actually a trophy shelf. That's what it's made for, but this is a great alternative solution. They have containers styled on here and they've used the rail as clothing storage. So you can always be creative. Everything doesn't have to be used for its exact purpose. Now into the sofa section, I spotted a brand new sectional and sofa line here. This is the Kivik four seat corner sectional and it actually has a very modern look that is supposed to have maximum comfort. So if you're looking for a softer sofa, this is definitely on the softer side. It comes in different fabric options. So you can do dark gray, beige, blue, you can even do corduroy like this. And this entire sofa line comes in pretty much every single size. So they have the sectional, they have a sofa, love seats, they even have this extended sofa with the chaise lounge, which is probably one of my favorites. I like that it can be a sectional, but in a smaller space. I did a little sit test on this sofa and it's definitely comfortable, but there still is some firmness to it. If you're looking for something that's extra soft, really plush and very comfortable, I would recommend this sofa line. This is the Vinladen sofa line. It comes in different sizes as well, different fabric options, but this has a higher back to it. So it cradles your neck. The cushions are really soft and the style is a little little bit more traditional. It has that sloped arm and more roundness to it. They also have this brand new style sofa that is more of a mid-century modern style. It has that tapered leg, it's extra deep, and the black velvet is just stunning. They also have this brand new one and a half seater, which is really pretty. I love the sage green color of this. It has those traditional style legs and it definitely gives off this Chesterfield sofa look. So if you're going for a traditional style, this would be great. The one and a half seater is really cool as well because it kind of gives you this extended amount of space, but without getting a full love seat. 
Another design element I'm loving is this wall sconce light placement. I love that it's within this gallery wall that has a ton of different elements to it, but it just allows this little corner to be highlighted really nicely. I just spotted this brand new coffee table, and this is the new V-Holes line, which you're gonna see a lot of as well. I don't think that this coffee table has great style to it, but it has ample storage. So if that's what you're looking for, something that's mobile, that would be great. Or I think it could be a really cool storage bench, maybe for your front door. You can put shoes inside and a basket on the side to hold extra things. They also have it in a media unit style as well. I just think this entire line is very, very plain, but it is more affordable. I usually opt for things like this that just have a little bit more of a dynamic style to it. This is a really pretty black media unit. It sits very low and I like the skinny little legs and the mirrored black glass. I just think it looks really sharp and elegant. If you're going for a modern style, I think this would be a great choice. I see they also have the V-Holes line in a sideboard. And again, this is just a very simple design, but it's something that you could DIY and maybe add to. I feel like some pull wrap on here would be really cool. Add some texture, maybe paint it, do new hardware, and it could be a really affordable DIY. I actually really love this sideboard. The Rigasaur line is one of my favorites. I think it looks extremely high end for an Ikea piece and the scale of these pieces are usually really large. So again, that adds to that elegant, expensive look, but it's a very beautiful sideboard with some really nice height. And the last thing I see from the V-Holes line, which is their most affordable line, are bookshelves. So if you're looking for affordable bookshelves that are an alternative to the Calyx unit or the Billy bookcase, this would be a great affordable option. Here is a very clever, affordable, and fun DIY that you can do in a playroom, a kid's room, maybe you have a homeschool room, or you're a school teacher. This is a little DIY chalkboard station, and all it is is $3 memo boards and a $5 shelf pushed together. Add some stools and you have an instant play space. This is the Rigasaur bookcase that I really love. It's Ikea's most high-end looking bookcase. I like that it has the glass doors, the scale is extra tall, and it honestly just looks like something that you'd find at Restoration Hardware. I think this Rudsta line is one of my favorites when it comes to glass shelving units here. I like that it comes in a single version and it comes in the double door. I like the height of it and it's very minimal design. Now, I'm sure we're all familiar with IKEA Calyx units. These are little cubby systems that usually come in a very large size, the double, the quadruple, and now they're selling this new single unit. So it just has two cubbies inside. You can mount them on the wall so they're floating or leave them on the floor. Right now they brought in a ton of new dining chairs. So there's different styles here. This dining chair is something I was really excited to see in person. I wanted that woven part to be a little softer, but I find the material is kind of like a seat belt material. It's not my favorite, but the overall style of it is very stylish. So it's just up to you if you care about that. It's probably a very durable material though. They also have this little acrylic kind of ghost chair and I like that it's tinted. It's a little bit more traditional in its style. And then they have these funky swivel chairs. They are very retro. They would fit the mid-century modern style. I think they pair really nicely with a tulip table and they come in black and white.
Okay, now this new Fridnaz line is very clever for space saving. You get all four of these pieces for $109 and they're a nesting table solution that can also double as stools and tables. I think this is so clever. You can push everything right underneath that big large table or use it all separately. You can bring the smaller tables out and use them as stools, or you can swing out the mid-sized table and you have two separate stations. I think this would be perfect for any small apartment if you're having friends over and you need some extra seating and table space, or if you wanna create a little kid's homework spot. I just spotted a few of the new fall pieces styled on this dining table. The new jars and cups and little lids, they're super cute, but we're gonna see more of that downstairs in the marketplace. One of my favorite things to do at Ikea is wander around the kitchen section because they have very creative design layouts in here. If you open every cupboard and drawer, you'll see so many great organization ideas. And I just love seeing what you can do at certain budgets. So if you go around the kitchens, you'll see exact prices of how much each kitchen costs. This cabinet finish is Ikea's newest option. It's an oak finish and they have panel ready options. They have all the doors and drawers, but this oak finish is very on trend right now. It has that warmth and coolness to it. So it's a great wood option if you wanna mix some wood into your kitchen. In this little kitchen, you can see the Enhet line in upper cabinets and lower cabinets. It really shows what you can do for $2,200. You can learn so much by going through these kitchens. I just found this tiny kitchen and I love the storage solution they have here. This little table is actually a fold down table so you can bring it out to use it as you need but also just fold it down and it turns into just a little shelf. So if you have a tiny kitchen and you don't have anywhere to put a table, this would be such a great option. I think Ikea has some good options for kitchen islands. They just came out with this mini mobile kitchen island. You can provide yourself with some extra surface space as well as a drawer and multiple shelves. This has little wheels on one side so you can pull it across your room, tuck it into wherever you need and save space in your kitchen. Ikea has just dove into the world of gaming this year. I've noticed they've brought out so many new gaming chairs and gaming desks and all of the supplies you'd need. Gaming equipment is very expensive. So if you were to get it at Ikea, you are absolutely saving money. They have all of these really cool neon lights and different color options that you can choose to really customize your gaming space. Desk chairs are not always the prettiest, but I usually gravitate towards a lot of these more neutral colored chairs. This is also a gaming chair, but I just think it looks a little bit more stylish. It has a nice oatmeal finish. It has that nice leather strip down the middle. If you're into more of that neutral color palette, they definitely have some good desk chair options here. an amazing new piece in the bed section. This is a brand new rattan headboard for just $50. This would give any twin size bed that boho look and I love the warmth and texture it would give. You can mount it to a wall and it's such an affordable option. You could also put two of these together to fit a king size bed. They also have this line as a room divider and I just think this style stuff would be perfect for a dorm room or any shared room. I like that you can create some privacy but it's also really stylish and gives off that boho look. So this is a great new line.
This is a new wall mirror that they have here and it's actually a storage mirror. So you can open it up and there's little hooks. So I think this would be great if you have a ton of necklaces and jewelry, maybe ties, scarves, anything small. So it would be perfect for a front door or a bedroom. Ooh, and they just redid the kids section and they did a really cool concept. As you walk into every room, they tell you what the price of the entire room is. So this entire kids room is $900. I think it's such a great way of knowing exactly what you can get at certain budgets. This is a very boho whimsical look in here. It's super cute. It kind of reminds me of the toddler room that I designed for my niece. All right, now let's head downstairs to the marketplace so we can check out all of the new home essentials and decor pieces for fall. In the first section here, you'll find all of the kitchen essentials and they have this new product. These are preparation bowls that slide right underneath a cutting board. So as you're chopping fruits and vegetables, you can just slide them onto the preparation bowls and it keeps everything neat, tidy, and organized. This pack of three is just $2.99. Here's a new little fall setup and I just love these deep, warm, rich colors. Adding amber glasses like these and jars to your kitchen will just give you that instant fall look. So if you like to separate and organize things into jars, these would be a really cute touch for your kitchen this season. I also love these new glass bottles and you can get them in different lid styles. So you can get this lid style that will just keep everything inside. I love that round wood top or you can get a spout. This bottle style is so pretty. I love the different color options and size options. These would be perfect for oil and vinegar out on your countertop. They even have a little tray option that you can use to put the bottles on, keeps everything decorative and neat and tidy. But a lot of these jars and bottles are just $5.99. Now into the bedding section, I just spotted some new bedspreads. These are perfect to add that texture and a little bit of pattern to your bed. This one here is the more expensive option, but it's actually less soft than this one. This one is a lot softer, has a little bit more cushion to it, and it's $25.99. I also love this new duvet cover. It's washed linen. It has that casual wrinkle to it. It's really soft and the color is perfect for fall. They also have it in white and pink. They also have that same washed linen line in the pillow section. So you can find pillow covers for your bed or your sofa here. Again, I love this look. It's the perfect touch for fall and oversized pillows on your sofa actually look fantastic. This warm tone for fall mixed with this very simple classic plaid is the perfect look to decorate for fall. recommend getting all of your area rugs from Ikea. I think they're a little bit hit and miss, but there is some special ones in here. This is a brand new rug. I love the dark color underneath with the colorful pattern woven in. It's whimsical, but it's traditional, and it actually gives you a little bit of a fall look. So that's a really pretty one. And then for more of a neutral look, I just spotted this brand new rug. This has that woven pattern into it, so it kind of has that basket weave. This is the type of rug that can go in a modern home or a traditional home. It's kind of that classic pattern. If you're 
looking for affordable on-trend vases, I think they have some good options here. This is a brand new small vase that they have. It's fluted, it's pink, and I actually think it would be better as a drinking glass. I also love this classic look. It definitely reminds me of fall and this gorgeous look. These vases are just $2.99. Every Ikea trip ends in the as is section. This is a section that's tucked into the end of the store near the cashier and you're gonna find marked down pieces at the best prices. All right, so that's it for today's shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this gave you a better idea on what you should pick up next time you're at Ikea. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these fall finds was your favorite and which one would you absolutely pick up next time you're at Ikea. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.